ladies and gents, welcome back to the channel, another brand new video and also day one of the new diet. Now I was thinking it's going to be six weeks but I'm thinking six weeks is a bit short for sort of where I want to get to, so I'm thinking maybe eight weeks, ten weeks, maybe even push for twelve. That should take us to, I think that'll take us to twelve weeks out, we're twenty-five weeks out now. Again, still a very long time, like someone saying it's almost half a year away. It's got me charged between that top. But I want to get down to a decent decent weight, decent sort of body fat level, and then sort of build back up from there. So train's gonna change slightly, and I was gonna say I'm feeling very fresh, but after yesterday's full day of eating a lot of food, I do not feel as fresh because it was an early start today and just I just couldn't settle last night. But it is what it is, so I'm gonna have this coffee that'll help me wake up breakfast which today is oh, same breakfast as usual <coughs> just less oats because I tend to save most of my calories for the evening anyway so you've got oats protein powder banana and some raisins with a bit of salt in there no honey today unfortunately and body weight was 93.7 this morning a bit heavier than normal but about a kilo and a half heavier but again that's because yesterday I had a sort of salt heavy day with foods and there's a dish I have that's cabbage and leek that makes me hold a lot of water and so it makes me feel bloated for at least two or three days. So that'll come down in no time at all. But yeah, I'm looking forward to getting the ball rolling on this diet. Coaching done for the morning, now it's time to make some trainings for myself. Now that was a bit of a lie before saying my body feels good or it felt good before trying to get some meat last night. This morning as I was getting ready, I literally Bent down to pick up my trousers off the chair and this like left glute area, lower back. Sort of cramped a little bit so it's been feeling a little bit tight all morning. So part of me saying I shouldn't back squat and just do like a, a goblet squat, a bit of a process, maybe hip thrusts. But we're gonna just see how it's feeling and then get into the rest of the session which I have written down. Obviously we'll, I'll go through it properly and do a little voiceover of it. But here is the plan for the session. So we've got squats, heavy set of five, if they do all right. Two back off sets, split squats, super set of RDLs and reverse lunges, and then finish with some core and abs. That is if the lower back feels all right doing the squats. But then it got me thinking I've been messing around with some barbells that party wants to just drop back squats all together and maybe switch over to like a a Zercher squat and safety bar squat, just get strong in those and just lose the focus on the back squat because it is a pain with this shoulder trying to get that warm and I just think Zerchers and safety bars are a bit, a bit different and it'll help me shift that focus from like that pure power thing mindset because I'm not doing deadlifts today because that right side still feeling a bit funny but let's Get warmed on these squats and see how it moves. I may change, we'll see. So I made the decision to keep back squats in for this week. Feeling okay, trying to, trying to be smart, going for 155. Going to aim for five reps. This is the same way I finished, sort of the last block on for three sets of five. But I thought just to ease myself back in, I'd do this for five and then back offs. Either knock off 20% and do some pauses or 90% and just do a couple sets of five, so knock off 10% for regular sets of five, or knock off 20% for paused fives. I'll see how this moves, but hopefully it moves well. Feeling feeling pretty strong, as always, got the belt hidden on the jumper, to make myself look a bit stronger on its internet, but, and even though I'm doing deadlifts, it's taken me way longer than I should have taken to get these up to this weight, so the rest of the session is gonna be rushed, but it is what it is. Oh, 
actually felt a lot worse than I did. I just felt it all on this, this left hand side, the left glute, did not work, left quad. And they didn't feel as deep as they looked, or as it felt, that's what she said. So I'm gonna move myself in the middle of the 18, like percent. So going for taking off 15% and going for a couple of sets of paused reps. That'll be 130, I think. Let me just do some quick maths. I should be better with maths on plate, shouldn't I? So calculator 155 by 0.85, 131.7, yeah, so we'll go for 130, two sets of five, paused, and then that should be squats done for the day. I need me plenty of time to get the rest done before the PT at 12. But like I say to most clients, I'm actually gonna round up, so I've actually got the one kilo plates out going for 132, because mama didn't raise no bitch. Even though those squats felt very deep, they definitely weren't deep enough for well, not to, to my liking, they felt too hard at that depth. I should think I should be able to sink a little bit further, which is why I've chosen to do these split squats. Now I was gonna do these anyway, but they also happened to help with X mobility. It was Marcus Finley from Functional Bodybuilding. He shared them, like I sent them to me by a friend. Uh, essentially it works the leg through that, that full range. It's like an, an ATG split squat, an arse to grass split squat, but basically, I'll start off with you can either go feet on the floor, try and go down, try and get your hamstring to your calf, which I can do quite comfortably, because I've got short legs and already somewhat okay mobility, so I'm gonna add in a step in, and I'm just gonna go for the same thing, but since I can already do that, I'm gonna add in a bit of weight. Uh, I've never really done split squats like this, but I've always done them sinking straight down, so this is gonna be interesting for the quads, I'm gonna help with Mobility for the hip and the ankle, and also just that, that extra quad strength. So here, here we go, hopefully this angle does it justice. for three to ten on each side. Same with split squats, taking a bit of rest between each. And this is the side that's struggles to balance. This is gonna be interesting with weight. Oh, whoa. They certainly feel like a better physical variation for me. When I do them the Bulgarian style, I just feel it on the hamstring and not much in the quads or glutes really. So we need to take a step back from them and just mix things up, try and try and make training fun again because I've found it too enjoyable recently. I've only found the sort of interval runs and the Friday Metcon session is fun. So how the session goes, the rest of the session goes and then but we'll keep doing this for the foreseeable. The to keep things pretty much unilateral because this left leg short on the right and I just feel it working differently in some movements. So we're gonna go for a single leg RDL, but we're gonna go for sort of the back leg support on the wall just to add a bit more stability and just to sort of test out that, that lower back, see if it's okay. It's been okay warming up, but we'll see what it's like with heavy weight. Again, just a couple of sets of 
eight to ten reps. That's going to be super easy with a single leg hip thrust. So I don't even know how to set up for this. Was it one, two paces out? I don't know. That's not how I keep me me knees in line. That keeps hips hips square. They are being superseded with some single leg hip thrusts. So back to this first leg. Oh, not a breath. Oh. Okay, this feels light, but it's not at the same time, because I've done it for a very long time. Nice control down. The reason I'm doing the sort of super bit of hamstrings and glutes is because last video, like I said, hamstrings look very small and I want my legs to grow a little bit and obviously strong hamstrings and glutes will help running less injury and just help balance out my legs like I feel. I feel I'm very quad dominant and I just want all round leg strength. I also want a decent shape when I wear shorts and compete. I don't want to look upper body heavy like I already do. Which is frustrating, but I just need my legs to grow. First up on the agenda for core work is working the, the abs. And I think I've seen someone describe this as like a reverse squat, but it's essentially a knee tuck. But the band is going to go around your ankles. And the key to any like reverse crunch, as you always say, is make sure that pelvis tilts up and you lift your bum and tear it off the floor. Sort of, I don't know how to holding the bands, but make sure it comes up, up to there. Apologies if you just saw all the rip of my shorts. Forgot about that. So this train's sort of hip like his butt lower abs. You get hit when you really took the pelvis, so that's the main point of these. I think that's my issue. I've got tight flexors, tight on my hip flexors because I spend the majority of the day sat down in front of the computer and only train, like say, for an hour and a half, two hours, and then walk the dog for another two hours. So what's that? Four hours on my feet and the rest is just sat on my bum. Playing FC 24, but I feel it's going to change. And I start getting more mobile. And if you heard any farting noises then, that was my lower back, not me. Again, you want to keep the lower back flat to the floor, but it will arch every now and again. And now, we're going to shiver to that with some ab crunches, because like I said last week, I want the abs to sort of start showing a bit more, be a bit more prominent. And I think I'm still in frame, but let's get this set up and get into those. Now the key to these is making sure you pull down with your abs, and not just end up pulling down with your, with your arms, you imagine making your chest down to your legs. Up sit back on my feet a little bit and then focus on pulling down with the abs. Getting to that T spine to be moving. This is quite light, so I'm just gonna hold it on for a second or so at the bottom. And they're much more effective on the cable machine, but bands can't make really do for now. So we're gonna go for two more rounds, and then we're gonna quickly get changed, tidy up, get ready for that PT. But that is Monday and leg day done, fresh as the week. All right, we'll see how I'm feeling in a few hours.
training and PT done. Now before I head home, one thing I want to do before was get a little physique update. So I'll just kick this off because the hat's on the microphone. And actually we'll spin this round so it doesn't block out much of the light. Put that clip on. There's that clip done. Yeah. Now I'm feeling much better about myself than I did a few show with that body dysmorphia issue, but I'm probably gonna wash this back and hate myself. But this is the starting point, a step further back into the light. Now this is where I got my previous photos when I did that cut a few years ago, so I feel like I can keep this pretty consistent because it's the same lighting, same same spot, I can have the camera at the same distance. So it's very good to actually measure and see if it's making a difference. Now obviously I'm, I think I'm holding a bit more water because of yesterday's very salty, high sodium day, but this is the starting point. Again, I want to lose some of this just spare tyre really, just get a bit trimmer there. I know this is not really physique based, it's a small weight loss base, so I want to get to around, I think 86 kilos would be a good, a good starting point, but I mean not a starting point, a good end point, because right now I'm 93 kilos and I'm going to lose them, being 5 or 7, 5 8, it's not very good to be the heavy and try and run fast. But here we are, again, just each, each angle just to compare, like I say, I feel a bit, a bit better with this starting point. And let's just show the, show the chicken legs, show the pins. So they feel very, very small. Again, it's all that running. Like, can you, can you see much there? We move back, get in the light. But yeah, this is, this is what we're starting with. Again, small legs, but just gonna try and trim down and get a bit lighter while still maintaining that strength. So yeah, physique update one done. Now let's head home and grab some lunch. Just like that, here we are, back at work. Where I was able to quickly grab some lunch, which I'll show you now. I've just got the, that sweet chili chicken sandwich, although I feel like I need to stop eating so much packaged meat because it's just all the sodium extra water on that, but it's convenient for now until I start actually meal prepping properly. Of course, I got some dead babies for extra carbs, and I was going to say post workout sugar, but I finished training two hours ago, they were almost just over two hours ago. So that's lunch, puts me at I think 1500 calories overall for the day. I just wanted to cover nutrition before we end the video there. Now I use the Cash McCarvel calculator, which I'll put a link to down below, which puts my main center around 3200 calories. So I'm gonna take away 10, 10 to 15 percent of that because I prefer to work in percentages rather than just taking 500 away. And I found with this percentages, I'm able to still keep my training relatively high and performance is, is relatively high. Whereas if I took away 500, I just crash and burn. So that's how I set my calories. That's gonna be what, between 28 and 2900. I've actually not done the calculations yet, but protein's gonna be set a minimum 0.8 grams per pound, which will put me at so what was I, 90, I was 93.7 this morning, times 2.2, 2. 206 pounds, 2.24 is 209 pounds. So 209 times 0.8, so a minimum of 166 grams of protein. To get the fat, so 209 times 0.4, minimum 83 grams, and then I'm just gonna fill the rest of the calories with as many carbs as I can. So it's a lot of calories to play with, but I'm gonna see how that, that gets me for at least the first six weeks and then maybe just there for the following six weeks and then after those 12 weeks bringing the calories back up as we pushed forwards to the the high rocks again still 25 weeks out still a lot of time to go but i want to get things in place now and i really need to start focusing on my nutrition a lot more because it's been terrible the last few weeks so that's one thing i really want to want to dial in and focus on because it's been lazy breakfast and lunch are fine but then it's dinner in the evenings where i just eat what's available and start snacking on 
or chocolate and things just to get the calories in and something like that. Not the best in the world, but that's going to wrap it up for today's video. The battery charger has just come on this screen because I forgot to charge it last night and this morning. Rookie error again. But not the best leg session in the world. I may drop back squats next week. I need to go away and think at least work on mobility, but just they've been frustrating the last few weeks. I just need to sort them out. But for now, I'll have some milk on. I'm going to enjoy this lunch. Wait for people to show up for coaching and then that's me done for the day. Might show you dinner, might not, probably won't because I don't know what I'm having yet but I'll probably be too tired and just forget anyway. So yeah, that's Monday done. Day one of the diet-ish. So let's see how we get on later in the week for another upper body session on Wednesday. We're gonna be over at Vault. I think we got the day off again. Unless that changes, who knows. But I will see you all in the next one. Peace.